On today's episode, we're going to talk about citizenship. I'm an American living in Germany with a German baby. Doesn't that mean she automatically gets American citizenship? Well, it's a little more complex than that, so let's talk about it. Hello, Hien Lieblings. I'm Mari, science fiction and fantasy author who's been living in southern Germany since 2014. So I gave birth to a little girl back in October, and we're going to call her Mouse. As in Mouse, not Mouse, because obviously there's a difference. If you're hearing the podcast version of this, uh, it's it's hard to hard to uh, to visualize this, but um, I'm referring to mouse as an M A U S German spelling and not the English M O U S E. <laughs> the pronunciation is pretty much the same, and that's kind of the joke. Uh, it's also the same word. Just me being silly. And while I'm married to a German, she was automatically given German citizenship. But as an American citizenship goes, she is entitled to receive it as well. But will she get it? And the short answer is yes, but not now. (laughs) Why? Well, the actual process isn't that difficult. So according to the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, I have to fill out an application for a certificate of citizenship, which is Form N-600, provide proof of my citizenship, a photo of my child, as well as a copy of her birth certificate. Oh, and I also have to fork over uh, $1,170 for the honor. Yeah, that's right. The U.S. wants about $1,200 for the paperwork. And I know people who have been naturalized for yeah, for less than that. I mean, my mom paid like $250 to become a U.S. citizen back in the 80s. Like, really? Why, why so much? I don't know. I think the U.S. thinks their expats make so much more money living abroad, and it would explain why they would tax us. If you don't know what this means, I did do an episode a while back on the U.S. tax systems while living abroad, and I'll link it in the description below. But long story short, the U.S. taxes their citizens based on citizenship and not residency, and that means every year I have to fill out U.S. taxes even though I haven't lived in the States for almost a decade. And it also means it's hard for me to invest abroad and also with retirement and all this other crap, and certain banks won't touch me because of how complicated our tax system is. And so at this point, you're probably wondering, I want to subject my kid to that? Well, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Actually, we're, we're going to let her choose. So I have until she's 18 to give her citizenship. And if it weren't for the high price tag, I would have already started the paperwork. But mama ain't got no job right now. And with building a house, $1,200 is rather steep at the moment. Especially because they can deny her because someone probably shot in their cereal that day and they decided to. And I don't know. And I would just lose that money and I would have to pay again to reapply. So once I am back in the world of working and have income, I will pay for it then. But once she turns 18, she would then be subject to our stupid tax laws. And by then, she can decide if she wants to keep it or give it up. I do have a cousin who has both American and U.S. citizenship, so I would actually want my mouse to talk to her and get enough info to make an informed decision. Also, I do have to know that I'm actually not related to this cousin. (laughs) She's actually the daughter of one of my mom's high school besties, so this chick is actually also half Peruvian. (laughs) So anyway... um, I want Mouse to have the option for the states. So with citizenship, she can work and live in the U.S. without needing a visa. Maybe she'll want to go to my old university. Maybe not. Maybe she doesn't want anything to do with the states. It, it would like probably break my heart in a million pieces, but it will be her choice. At least I can give that to her and just let her decide. And what do you think? What are your thoughts on all of this? And if you were in my position, what would you do? There are no wrong answers here, and I would love to know your thoughts. So let me know in the comments below. And that's it. Thank you for joining me. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. It lets me and YouTube know that you like this kind of content and you want to see more. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions or if there's a certain topic you'd like to see on this channel. If you want more info on my books and newsletter, check them out in the description below. And don't forget to connect with me on social media, whether it is through TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. And that's it. Until next time. Adi!